I only knew him and met him for a whole month. I ended up getting pregnant by him. I don't see a future with him. I don't see us together. At one point he went to my house and dropped off a gift that I, I did not ask for. When was Camila born? August 6th, uh, 2022. And how old is Camelia? She's eight months, going to be nine months. Okay. And who is the father? Uh, he is Michael Ormos. And uh, you're not requesting DNA, is that correct? That's correct. And um, Ms. Lear, did you have any sexual relations with an, another man during this period? No. Other than Mr. Ormos? Correct. No. And who does um, the child live with right now, Camelia? Who does she I'm live sorry? with? Who does she live with? She lives with me. And who makes the day-to-day -day decisions? Me. And does uh, Mr. Almos make any decisions? No, he does not. And does he have any visitation right now? No. Has he ever seen the child? No. And and how well do you get along with Mr. Almos? Not well. And um, <clears throat> has there been any, any incidences of safety concerns that you have? With Mr. Almos? No, just harassment. And do you have a protective order against Mr. Almos? Yes. And who is that for? For myself. And uh, when did you file that? That was April uh, last year, the 22nd. I'm sorry, the 2022. April of 2022? Yes. And it's good for how long? Two years. And at that time, that was, that was before... Uh, Camelia was born, correct? Yes. And Your Honor, I do have that uh, protective order. Did you want to see it? Uh, yeah, you can share the screen since yes. it's a default. Let me over here. Okay. Share screen. Uh, let me move that over there. What the heck is that? Okay. You see my screen, Your Honor? Yes. Let me go to the top here. There you go. There's the issuance. Uh, Lira and Michael Toby Olmos appeared in person. Okay. Uh, just go down to the date. Eight. Keep going. Yeah, you can okay. keep going a little further down. There you go. All right. Thank you, Mr. Feist. Okay, stop sharing. It, it's, uh, yeah, keep going down a little. It doesn't oh, okay. have the signature of the, yeah, of the judge. Thank you. I stop sharing my screen, Your Honor? Yes, you may. And Ms. Lira, what are you requesting the court as far as um, conservatorship? Presumption of the law is that there's joint managing conservatorship is in the best interest of the child. Are you requesting joint managing conservatorship? I'd like to be the one to make the decisions for my daughter. So you're requesting sole managing. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes. And could you explain to the court why you want sole? Well, he's never once met, met her or seen her. He's never once contributed into anything, you know, knowing that he knows that he has another child. I have had her and struggled with her. So I feel that it's, it's the best choice. Okay. And, um, what are you requesting as far as visitation? Uh, visit visitation. Right. Between, do you want <clears throat> Mr. Almost to have visitation? Yes. Yes. And what, I'm, what, not sure. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how, um, do you like want I him to have the, the capability of visiting the child? Yes. But, um, at the beginning, I'm not sure how to do it, you know, with, um, to have, have it monitored. Supervised? Yeah, supervised. Yes, that's the word. And the child is eight months old. Did you know of how many times you wanted to have it supervised and when you wanted to see it, him to see the child? I mean, every other, every other weekend would be fine or every. And you want those supervised. Did you have a time in mind? A certain um, time? I'm not sure if he works. That's the thing. Like, he, uh, I mean, weekends, maybe in during around lunchtime or morning times. Okay. Did you, um, did you discuss a visitation schedule with, uh, Ms. Barbosa? Not really. Okay. So you, you want to leave it up to the judge to decide what the visitation schedule is? That, that'll be fine. So right now you're, you're requesting every other weekend. Yeah. Yes. And, and supervised, correct? I'm not sure on the supervised. I did speak with Ms. Bar Barbosa. The, I would need to choose someone to be there. 
And I, I don't know who that would be. Okay. Do you um do you have any information on his where he works? Do you know where mm -hmm. he works? No, I don't know. So you have no contact with him, right? Mm -hmm. And we have no information on his um employment either. So the state would be requesting to set child support at a, the minimum wage. Are, were you in agreement to that? Yes. So child support will be set at 200. Oh, how many uh, additional children does he Mr. Has, have? That I know of, he has two other children. And they're both under 18? Yes. Are they his biological children? Yes. Okay. So child support using that calculation will be set at $222 a month beginning June 1st of 2023. Were you in agreement to that? Yes. And how does child covered for health insurance? She has Medicaid. Okay. The Using the calculations stated above, the um, medical support will be set at $38 a month reimbursed to the state, also beginning June 1st of 2023. Were you in agreement to that? Yes. And have you guys ever lived together? No. So you're, you're requesting a retro from the time the child was born? Yes. Okay, so the retro was set at $12,220 to be paid at $50 per month, also beginning June 1st of 2023. Were you in agreement to that? That was 2000 right? Let me hang on one second. Recalculate that. Uh, let me see. Give me one second. Sorry, Judge. That's okay. I'm going to recalculate that real quick. So that comes out to $1,760, and that would be paid at $50 per month beginning June 1st of 2023. We're in agreement to that? Okay, yes. And you're not asking for retro medical support, dental support, and the court costs will be as billed to Mr. Almost. Were you in agreement to that? Yes. I have no further questions for Ms. Lira, Your Honor. All right. So you said the retro child support is one thousand seven hundred and sixty and fifty cents. I mean, to be paid at fifty. Yes, to be paid at fifty dollars a month, Your Honor. Right. Um, and the child support at two twenty two gives him credit for the other two minimum yes. wage. All right. All right, Miss Lita. Um, I need I need a little bit more evidence if you um, if you can answer a couple of questions for me. Uh, you testified that you have a protective order that's effective all the way up through April 28th, 2024. In order to overcome the presumption on joint managing conservator, um, can you please tell the court a little bit of uh, the incidents that arose to you having to get a protective order? Okay, so I only met, I only knew him and met him for a whole month. I ended up getting pregnant by him. Um, I put it off with him before finding out I did get pregnant. But he constantly, constantly kept bothering me. Uh, he constantly kept text messaging, telling me to come back home. But I never lived with him. Uh, I'd, I'd only, we'd only get together about like the weekend of that month, which I knew him for that one month. Um, he constantly, after I con continuously and respectfully would tell him to just leave me alone and I don't see a future with him. I don't see us together. I, there is nothing. He constantly, every day would send text messages. At one point he went to my house and dropped off a gift that I, I did not ask for. So it just came up to the point and I was, mind you, I was pregnant. Um, it was the first weeks of pregnancy, uh, first couple of months actually. And he, it was so bad to it at the point that it give, it would give me anxiety um, and it would put a lot of stress on me. Okay. So it was, it was very uncomfortable. He made me feel very uncomfortable with all the text messaging and all of his feelings towards me that I didn't, I did not feel the same for okay. him. Okay. Did it get to a point to where you didn't feel safe? Yes. All right. He never, and well, he, I'm sorry. Um, he did at one point, like, make it make it seem like he like he would hurt himself but okay. but um not nothing physical or anything like that all right um but he did at least uh kind of gave you that impression through the text he was sending you yes all right um and um obviously if if he if he were to be named joint managing conservatorship 
where the, where you would have to discuss things with him uh obviously that wouldn't work right it would i i i just i would not be able to just no it wouldn't work i wouldn't want to be around him because okay. he would take that a whole different way all right and uh, how long did these uh this harassment continue was it more than a month or it was more than a month okay and it was on a daily basis correct yes especially right. during hours of the night all right so with regards to the visitation um your child is only eight months old correct yes and so that child is under three um visitation we can do the first third and fifth maybe on saturdays from one to five at the very beginning however i do you have somebody else that can help you uh do the supervision like your mom or your dad i could talk to my mom about it I how not... do you propose i mean you don't have any um problems with uh, visitation and the visitation being supervised but i from what you're telling me i don't think it would be a good idea for you to supervise because he's going to take it to a next level so is there someone else that can help you do the supervision and we'll put their name in the order because it should not be you i i don't i don't have I mean, I don't have anyone. I could ask my friends. Okay. Well, I, I can't put you because what you're telling me is he he took it to another level. So I can't put you. No. So um, you could just give me a name. Uh, do you have a sister or a brother that can do it? We can put two names in the alternative. In other words, if one doesn't do it, then maybe the other one will. Uh, we can do We can do my brother. We can add him. Okay, his what's his name? Leonardo Lira. Okay, how old is he? He's 18. Okay, all right. And you, uh, obviously, you um, trust him with your child, right? Because he's 18 years old. You you, you trust him to do the supervision? I, I trust him, yes. Do you know if he got along with Mr. Almost a little bit, at least? Yes. All right, is there somebody else you want us to list, just in case Leonardo can't do it? We can do, we can do my mom. Yeah, I, I would suggest just do your mother. And if your mother can't do it, then let yeah. Leonardo, if they both want to go together, um, as long as you give Mr. Uh, almost his space. Now, he's going to get notice that the judgment is being signed. He may not even approach you for visitation. I don't know, but let's just put it in there in to, to be safe. So what is your mother's name? Her name is Rosario. Rosario, what a lovely name. That's my core coordinator. Okay, Rosario, what? Lira. All right, then Mr. Um, Feist will put that, and it'll be the first, third, and fifth Saturdays from one to four. That's only four hours uh, at a public place. Yes, Miss Elion. You said five, one to five. Okay, one to five, which is four hours at a public place. Just give me a public place. Is there a park or something there in Dimmit or a McDonald's? There's a, there's a McDonald's. Okay. Then we will stick at the McDonald's there in Dimmit, uh, in Carrizo Springs. And then when the child turns five, it's mm -hmm. supposed to be at the age of three, but when the child turns five, we'll go ahead and allow the standard visitation, which is every other weekend overnight. Now, Miss... Lira, if you see that he is visiting and that the child is doing fine and everything is going well, you can change that. In other words, you're only supposed to use the schedule we give you when you're having problems, okay, that you stick okay. to the schedule. So, okay. um, because it may be a good thing if he establishes a relationship and it's, and it's good. So, we'll go ahead and do it at the age of five, provided that he exercise his visits prior to that. Child support will be set at two twenty two dollars with a medical of $38 beginning June 1st. Your Honor? Yes. Uh, so um, retro, we need to set retro at 1980 because the child's almost nine months old. Only a couple days from nine months. So Instead of 1760, right? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. The retro will be 1960 to be paid at $50 a month, also beginning June 1st. The child That's 1980, Your Honor. Sorry. Sorry, 1980. Yes. And then the child's surname will remain Lita? Yes. All right. 
That'll be the ruling of the court. The court finds it's in the best interest of Camila. Court costs will be billed to Mr. Olmos. There are no attorney's fees and I will sign it electronically. That's when it becomes final, Ms. Lira. Do you have any questions? No, ma'am. All right, then you are excused. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Child support was set at $571. Woo!